What's up, y'all? It's me. I'm cold. I'm freaking freezing. Like, I have no idea why it's this cold in my house right now. Like, you would think I had, like, windows and doors open, and I just really don't. I think it's, like, I want to say it's, like, 40 degrees outside. Not quite winter yet. But, I come to you today for a reason. Um, this is a question popped in my head, and I thought it would be fun. You know, just curious. So, here's the question. Okay, so here's the question. Here I go, messing with the camera again. Here's the question. Okay, you know how when you're in a relationship, this is what some people do. They have like a gimme list. I think that's what you call it. A gimme list. Basically, it allows you three people, celebrities, who if you ever got the chance, you could get it on with them. And I was just thinking, I'm like, I wonder who I would... Who I would put on my list. I haven't figured it out now ahead of time. But, um, yeah. So, who would you all pick? But the rule is, I mean, it's not a rule, but what you have to do, pick three people on your gimme list. And you categorize them by their level of celebrity. Meaning, you have one person who is potentially attainable. Not saying that they would want to go there with you, but they're attainable. Like, you could actually meet them in person um, so that gives you some sort of chance, not really, but you know what I mean, they're actually attainable, so you could put potentially meet them in person, then you have a next level person who, you could potentially meet them in person, but they're still, they're kind of unreachable too, they're getting to that point in their celebrity, um, and then you have another person who just, you probably will never meet them ever, 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 ever in your life, you know, if, if they're like a singer or something like that, or something to that effect there in a movie, you might be able to go to their premiere. You might be able to go to their concert. But chances are you're not going to meet them. So, pick three. Who would you pick and why? I don't know. Seems like a fun question. Um, seeing as how I ask the question, I have to answer it because that's just not fair. Um, my three people. Because they're the only three I could think about. They're the only three I could come up with. So... My, um, I don't want to make it seem like they're not important by putting them at the number one spot. But the more attainable celebrity, like that is a potential of me, I could possibly meet them, period. Whether something happened or not, which, come on, they're a celebrity. Let's keep it funky. Okay, my number one, I don't care. My number one is free from 106 and Park. Hallelujah. She's the reason why I watched 106 and Park. I mean, it was for the other stuff, too. I mean, fine. You know, that was the best 106 and Park. But, yeah. Most definitely free. Why? Um, physically, she is my type. Physically, she is what I like. She's short. She's nice and brown and, like, toasty and mm-hmm. And she's nice and thick, proportioned in the right areas. Yeah, she's definitely, ugh, she's definitely, sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Okay, she's definitely my type. Yeah, and, like, her whole, like, the way she carries herself, stuff like that, it's, like, real, like, she has that feminine, but, like, that different kind of, like, like, aggressive, like, kind of rough. Yeah, let me get off of that. Okay, number two, I put, this is three, you know that, right? Okay. Number two, I would pick um, this person, but I'm only picking them based upon one movie that I saw them in because I noticed them before. I'm like, okay, but there's one particular movie they were in. Them, oh, have mercy, okay. Kerry Washington. Yeah, I like her from the movie of the movie of. I think I'm a little excited about this question. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to sneeze as well. I like her from the movie, um, I Think I Love My Wife. Her character in there is so... Yeah. Yeah. Her whole aura, her whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I picked her, okay? Um, my top, tippy top, that I probably will never, ever in my life ever get to meet... May never, may never even get to go to a concert. 
Janet Jackson. I'm sorry, my nose is itching so bad, and you know, I'm trying not to sneeze. Okay, sorry. Janet Jackson. <sighs> she a little bit old, but shit. She can be my cougar, god damn it. Janet got on Jackson, alright? So that's my three. Um, I, I don't even know, like, I, I'm supposed to say why I picked her. This is Janet damn Jackson, I mean, Uh, like, yeah. So that's my three. I want to know who are your three people on your gimme list? Three. You have to do them in the order of their celebrity. You know, how attainable they are, how unattainable they are. Um, yeah, and why? Why you pick them? I want to know. And this is, just, this is not just for the gay folk that watch me. It's for the straight folk, too. I don't care. I think it's fine. Who's on your gimme list and why? That's all. Um, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. It was in my head and I just wanted to do it. So, here I am. Um, trying to think before I cut this off. Yeah, I really think that's all. So, list them, y'all. List them. Underneath a bar, if you want to do a video response, which, whatever. But, underneath a bar, let me know. Top three. Who's on your gimme list? Alright y'all, I'm Atlas. This is Don't Be Afraid to Think TV. I'm out.